Yep. What if Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's was in Smash? Just have to get off the piano. Yes, that was me playing the piano, people. It's now recording. Anyways, getting into things right away. Just so you know, there'll be no jump scares. If you were wondering, of course, any horror character that I have done, you will probably guess no jump scares. Because no one likes them. So, anyways, things we need to know. Springtrap will be very heavy thanks to him being in a s animatronic suit. You have two jumps and may crawl as you can see right here. So, his jacket could be based on how he walks in, or he, how he walks as purple guy. Kevin slowly hits like that, except for it would be a little bit faster, hitting, doing a one-two punch kind of like that, except for he won't move his feet either, that'll just be retarded. Now, he will also go into a rapid jab by rapidly spin, um, rapidly biting like that. That's his jump scare. Based on his jump scare, I meant. The dash attack can be a lunging slash hit. The side tilt can be a sucker punch. The up tilt can be a slash round. Upwards. And the down tilt can be a low crawl hit. Kind of like how zombies hit, but... He's not a zombie, but... You know, he's undead and... Just stick with it. You know, just stick with it. The side smash can be a powerful lean forward bite. The up smash can be a double punch upwards. And the down smash, we can have him spin. But, by the way, spin trap legs would stay in place while his arms would spread out. And when I mean spin, I mean only his body would spin. Since he's kind of like an animatronic. Kinda, even though his decayed body is in it. I am still counting him as an animatronic. Sort of. So for now, I'm thinking about it. Is he? Because there's a dead body there. I don't know if the dead body can spin like that. Why am I using my own logic against me? The neutral air would have him spin. Kind of like this down. Kind of like the down smash. We have him use his body to spin. The side air would have him kick. The back air would have him do a sucker swing back. The up air, the up air would have him do a head swing up, and the down air we have him do a spike kick. Spin trap will grab one hand and hold by holding the foe up. Or what I mean by holding the foe up, I mean he hold the collarbone of the foe and punnels by hitting the foe with the other hand. The side throw will have him do an overhead th toss throw. The back throw will have him do a spin throw. The up throw will have him toss the foe upwards. And the down throw will have him step on the foe. And then it will bury the foe. Yep. To make things really scary, he's going to bury you. Because that's the scariest thing in Smash. Being buried, just waiting for the opponent to just smash you away. Now then, for his neutral special, we have him summon a phantom. Yep, this will be a counterattack. And those of you that don't know what a phantom is, it's like a phantom. No, there. Kind of rep representing a whole bunch of other characters from Five Nights at Freddy's. But mainly this phantom would be Freddy. So it's mainly a, a scary looking green ghost Freddy. But I think people would know when a phantom is in Five Nights at Freddy. This would be a counter-attack, or maybe used as a counter-attack. It may also par paralyze foes, even if it isn't a counter-attack. Yep. Oh, yeah. And here's a picture of a phantom that, for those of you that don't know what a phantom looks like. Now, for the side special, we can have him summon a spring cha trap. Yep, because that's his name. Alright, I'm kidding. No, for a side special, we can have him have a horizontal jump scare. 
This will work a lot like Gandalf's as the move will launch into foes and hold them by the neck and throw them out. Sort of. This has great horizontal recovery, and when I mean great, I mean great horizontal recovery. So, I suggest you use this move and not the up special. Speaking of up special, it's up special we can have him teleport. Yep, like most Friday Night Five Nights at Freddy's characters, we actually see them teleport when looking at cameras, and they disappear apparently. So finally, the down special. If using this move set and then, or clicking neutral special, Springtrap will shoot down. Then, if getting attacked ten times, Springtrap will do a powerful bite forward. This is more like a shield or a defense move and the bite may deal critical damage. I do have to warn you, you will take at least half the damage given to you. So... Not exactly a shield, it's only half luckily, but it is definitely worth it, I'll tell you that. Alrighty, so for his final smash, we can we can have you in the security room, then waiting in a few seconds, five, four, three, two, one. We can have um spring trap just jump off. I mean just walk in, the cameras goes off, and that's that. This is a cutscene, so if above 80% damage, this is an on man KO. Now then, for his taunts, Graham says, I am here to claim what's left of you. Based on a quote that he says in this game, here's another quote he says in this game for his second taunt. We can says, Got you! Then he laughs evilly, ha 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 ha. Yes, I'm not making this up. It is actually a quote in the game. And finally, he looks down, dark, and scary. Now, for his victories, he says, hide if you want. It, it did not save the others, it will not save you. Now, for his second victory, we, ha we can have him say, you will fear me. And finally, for his final victory, we can have him laugh evilly. And that's it. That's what if Springtrap for Five Nights at Freddy's was in Smash. Yep, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you know what you need to do? Ring the bell! Because I, you probably want to stay tuned. Of well, of course you do. Now, please consider me subscribing, and if you have any requests, please put it down in the requests. I think you know what to do. Bye-bye. Oh, did I say requests? I meant any comments on any video. Whatever. Bye-bye.